Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is the end of the line for Transport Fever for this first series playthrough that I've been doing. Um, we're sat outside our, uh, our food terminal here and uh, I just, oh, it's, it's very busy. Um, yes, and, uh, as you can see I have rolled forward by quite some way. It's now 2082, I've over a billion in the bank and the reason for doing this is because rather than you know, slowly progressing uh, towards the conclusion of this series. I thought it might be more appropriate to uh, explore a few ideas and then, then walk you through the place. Um, my original intention, of course, had been to uh, try and get airports into some kind of satisfactory position uh, using various different methods, and I've already set them up and used various different methods, and very shortly, I'll tell you exactly what happened. We start today's adventure in the airport that began it all. Boston International, Logan, Boston, Boston, Logan, Logan International, Boston. And as you can see, there is a grand total of one passenger waiting. Now this airport has been open for well, over, over 100 years by this point, and um, uh, the, the passenger lines that I am running uh, right now have been running probably for around 10 to 15 years. So the fact that there was one passenger waiting for this very nice Airbus 320 uh, is is something of a something of a testimony to uh, to just how poorly it works. Oh, look, there's a there's a 757 arriving. Yes, I I have experimented with a, a wide variety of planes. Uh, so uh, what have we got going on here? No passengers on board. Fantastic. Now this is uh, largely because uh, this airport is terrible. It's at a completely hopeless location. Um, as much as it has phenomenally good transport links uh, from uh, from both Boston and Warren, and you know you can get the train up in a couple of seconds, hop across the road, you're on a plane. Equally, I've got a, a commuter service that is quite happy to motor all the way through town and then come and drop you off. No, nobody's interested. Nobody's even slightly bothered about getting on an aeroplane. Um, and I have, a couple of, I have a couple of ideas as to why that might be, and we'll go through those in a moment. I just want to check the, uh, the traffic there. That's Boston Commuter. What we're looking for is anybody who's waiting for the other one. Yeah, that's, that's, some, that's some technical lingo right there. No, 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 no. Where's the, where are the, where's my big buses? Because I, uh, I bought a shed load of them. Well, you say, I mean, that would be quite a big shed. I bought an engine shed load of them. Where to, where to, talk to me, Boston. I'm, I'm pretty certain. Well, we, we zoom out. We find the bus icons. There's one. What are you on? Boston Airport Shuttle. You only appear to have just that one chap. Well, okay, well, let's... Let's add a couple more chaps, I was pretty certain I'd done that already, but uh, let's let's do it again now. Um, Alright, yeah, let's, uh, let's stick another three on, no, 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 let's not get carried away. Boston Airport Shuttle, there we go, let's stick two on there. Um, and you never know, it might just pay off in terms of, of getting stuff turned up. I will watch this goods chap come in. Uh, this goods chap, incidentally, is, uh, uh, is running a, a double-headed unit, as you can see. Um, it makes decent profit. I should, because this is the train that also stops at Warren, I should, if I had any sense, uh, split it into two trains and have one dealing purely with Warren, one dealing purely with Boston. But to be honest, I quite like the uh, the dual stop nature of it. Um, and uh, and that's, you know, that's, a, that's my fundamental there is, uh, you know, I'm a fan of, of what I like rather than... I'm still not certain why this has such trouble getting across there, you know. Maybe if I were to electrify this section of the crossing track, it would be happy. This does look a bit knackered. And it, it also, it doesn't, it doesn't do this coming the other way. Answers on a postcard, if you'd be so kind. Why does it slow down coming this way, but not the other? There's no, there's no conceivable reason for it to do so. It's a profitable service as well. It's, it's, uh, it's almost always full, um, which is nice. Uh, right, let's, let's just do this since we're in the area. 
Right about there. Oh, I don't want to electrify all of it. Oh, I might as well electrify all of it. There we go. I don't see as that's going to make a massive difference. Ghost train. Dropping its, dropping its stealth there. Uh, we'll also stop off because I, this is the kind of episode you're going to get today, friends, is, is plenty of stop-offs to, uh, to see things occurring. We'll stop here because this, uh, this is quite a busy section, although we appear to have turned up at, at one of the non-busy times of day to see the action happening. Such as it is. It's off look. Yeah, yeah, how about that? That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then, what have we got coming in here? This will be a... Uh, oh, it's a... Is it a Metro Liner? It is a Metro Liner. I didn't think I still had any of those in service. What are you rolling, running on? Central Line. I upgraded the Central Line to run on something a little more modern. Never mind. Yes, you can hear the faint sounds of aircraft doing the aircrafty thing overhead. Right, I have enough for following this chap. We're back on the, uh, don't worry, we're back on uh, the the airport mission. But I thought we'd just, we'd roll through here first. In fact, no, we'll we'll roll through there in a moment. Um, I'll do, we'll do some uh, some ride on in this episode. So here we go, here we go to, uh, to one of the new airports. Now this is Pembroke Pines. And as you can see, this is... You know, a, a veritable hive of activity with eight passengers waiting. Definitely worth the uh, the five odd million it costs to build the airport, and then the running cost of a couple of million each for every plane in service. Oh yeah, I'd spend that again in a heartbeat. Um, if we look at the, the the actual earnings that we're making here, last year we made three point well, let's call it three and a half million quid from air travel. And it only cost us 27.2 million to run it. I'd say that was amazing. If it was, but it isn't, so I won't. Um, yeah, occasional services get passengers, but not in the volumes needed to flip an Eckies driving dangerously. Um, and not in the kind of volume that, uh, that is sustainable. And I have a few ideas why. Uh, but also, I want to talk you through the placement of these stations, once no, the stations, airports, once I'm, uh, once we have them all. So next up, we will, uh, we will loft our way over to San Bernie. Now look, there's an aeroplane. Look, now there's a shocking thing. And again, San Bernie's got a few people waiting. Ah, brilliant. So you know, the shuttle between uh, uh, Pembroke Pines and San Bernardino is actually, you know, if I had a Cessna, I could make some money. Um, but I don't, so I don't. Oh, hello, that's new. Oh, yeah. How would you like to live right next door to the airport? Sound pollution, guaranteed. Um, and it's actually, it's quite nice to see it growing out in this direction. Um, San Bernardino is an interesting project because, uh, with the, uh, the newly added goods line here, which is actually paying off, so-so-ish, uh, we've got, we've got some some pipeline difficulties there, and the pipeline difficulty is the speed at which stuff is delivered. We'll, we'll look at that again in a minute as well. Back onto aircraft. See, I'm, I'm managing to almost stay focused. And we're last point, last one up here, is high point. High point, being the high point of the map. So, those are the four air points. I, air points? Yeah, sure, why not? Those are the four airports I have, and uh, they have mixed success, I think it's fair to say. Uh, the one thing that is certain is nobody wants to fly to or from Boston, he says, as somebody decides they want to get a plane out of Boston. Um, and I have a suspicion as to why that is. Suspicion number one. Now, if, you, uh, if we look at the map from here, uh, the high point is right at the top of the map, as much as it's at the bottom of your screen. You get where I'm going. Uh, and Boston is right down the other end. They are as far apart on this particular vertical as it's possible to be. And as such, my supposition is nobody in their right mind wants to make that kind of commute. And whether that's a commute for shopping purposes or for work or for whatever other reason, nobody wants to do it. Nobody is interested in making that trip. Check this out. We've got to check out Concord coming into land. Oh yeah, I bought Concord too. This is the Patrick, just so as you know. 
Yes, uh, so let's watch Patrick parking it up. Patrick, stupendously large, stupendously expensive to run, stupendously fast. Nobody wants to ride on him. Not so much. Um, yeah, so it's the, uh, the, 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 certainly, Boston to High Point, nobody even remotely interested at all. Now, uh, for a few episodes, we decided, well, okay, let's turn San Bernardino into an industrial power hub uh, so that it offers something uh, to uh, to visitors that, that Boston doesn't. Boston, as you know, is, uh, is very nicely commercialised. Uh, but uh, uh, San Bernardino, we've been focusing on getting the industrial side of things going. And... We've got the industrial side of things going, and still nobody really wants to be, uh, to, to come visit. Um, so let's look at, uh, at, at uh, Pembroke Pines, because I see Pembroke Pines as the success story. So th the other reason, hey, before we do so, the other reason I chose High Point Halt is because you can't get a train there. This, uh, this line that runs in, that is purely for goods and nothing else. You cannot get a passenger train uh, or any passenger service operated by me into Pembroke Pines, uh, into High Point. Flipping eight. So easily confused. Um, and the reason for doing this, I thought, well, let's see what happens if this is the only means of official transport that people can get. Uh, I also did my best to get it did as big a catchment area of existing buildings as possible. And quite a few of these have actually sprung up since I placed it. Uh, but at the moment... It's just, it's not interested. It's its not playing the game. So yeah, it is being fed goods, but it is not being fed passengers in any fashion at all. Now, if the, if the place were bigger to start with, maybe it would work. But uh, right now, it's just costing me plenty of cash. So here we go. Here's Pembroke Pines. Now, this one is also interesting because you can get, uh, the reason for putting this one on is you can get a train from Pembroke Pines to Boston. You can. There are trains that take this route, and it's a direct line. Uh, would you prefer to get there faster? Right? This is this is what uh, the game description has already said, and I really do apologise for the frame rates. Having these four windows open is the is the primary cause of that. But also, we are pretty late in the game, um, and so the uh, the the number of people we've got flapping around is actually quite large. Uh, if we let's turn some of this off, shall we? we turn some of this off then maybe we'll get a couple of extra frames a second out of it or not as the case may be so uh yeah uh Pembroke Pines is doing okay where are we it's over here yeah I mean you know they want to go to San Bernardino but uh, what I was testing out here was would they prefer to take a plane since it is faster than waiting and catching the train answer no and, uh, all these airports have uh, over regular uh, other transportation services to get people to go there just so you know um, but interestingly what we do get out of this is power uh, uh, PowerPoint no Pembroke Pines does have the most active service because they want to go to High Point I have no idea why now the two are fairly close together I mean this is, we're talking we're about mid map here maybe just just over midway down the map so if you say if we say like it's two thirds of the way, they want to, they're quite happy to get a plane that goes two thirds of the way down the map, but they're not interested to get one that goes a hundred percent of the distance. Once again, if you have any ideas, answers on a postcard, um, which takes us to, to San Bernardino Airport itself, and again, it's just there's we're not it's getting some. But they all want to go to Pembroke Pines. I don't know why. And uh, and there you have it. So, uh, yeah. So, here's the f here are the fundamentals of air travel. Wow, you close that down. We got an extra 20 frames a second. Um, the fundamentals of air travel. I had it working. I had a profitable service while I was running Dakotas. And that's because they were so much faster than train services. Now, I could, I could brute force it and put so many planes on one route that they're, you know, they're effectively taking off every three seconds. And given that I have a ludicrous amount of money in the bank, I think I might do that. So let's try 
Yeah, let's try San Bernardino. No, let's try High Point here to Boston. Right. Oh, hello. What are you? You're a multi-runway kind of a dealio. Oh, let's have a look at that. Terrain alignment collision. Buildings will be destroyed. Mayhem will be incurred. Oh, I really want, want it to work. It's actually colliding at the front end as well. Should do that earlier on. In fact, let's not. Let's not use you. No, you had your chance, but because you decided to collide, I'm going to go find someone else who wants to play. Um, something we're not already servicing. Something really, really ob obscure. And this is this is looking uh, plausible. No, that's show me vehicles. Show me... Oh, actually, we'll, we'll stick all this stuff back on again. May as well. Apart from you, not interested in you. This is McCallan. Now, McCallan, are you offering me anything by way of somewhere I can stick an airport? It's going to be quite a big airport. I mean, you know, you're going to get noticed. I thought I'd already built large airports. Evidently not large enough. Multi-runway. Digging out the ground. Yeah, this is the this is the business right here, right? Okay, hold on. Let's uh, we'll get as close as possible to your uh, your current population in this sleepy little burb. We're putting you on the map, son. Go unable to align terrain. Well, I think you I think you will align the terrain if I give you more opportunity to do so. I don't think you will align the terrain. All right, let's find somewhere where you will, and then we'll we'll road from there. You'll you'll do it over there. Well, no, that's not that's no help. Yeah, yeah. Money's no object. You want to charge me fifty million for this? We'll do it because this is this is the end of the ride. So you know this is our big our big fanfare, the the, the grand flourish, the prestige is what we're doing. Here we go. Get as close as you can. Sold. Right. Now that's what I call airport. Twenty seventeen. One building will be removed, and your terrain. All I'm doing is adding another flipping terminal. What's your What's your hassle? Two. Why are you collisioning my terrain alignment? Oh, right, okay. We have We have scooped out a fair amount. Of, let's Let's go again. There you go. It's not every day you delete a a, a fifteen million quid building in one hit, but uh, it's the kind of mood I'm in. All right, well, we weren't really close enough to any of those buildings to uh, to to nail it first time. In fact, before I do any of that, let's uh, let's bring out the smoother Tron 5, 5000 and uh, let's try and gentleize this curve a little. We don't need to gentleize the curve over there. Just over here will do. And this is this is so that we can we can get a little bit of a little bit of connectorization going on. Yeah, yeah, there we are. All of that. Lots of it. Yes. Right, now, aircrafts. All right, let's plonk Tracy Island back in here. Uh, let's, let's give it a little bit of extra leeway in case, in case some jiggery-pokery is required. Uh, terrain alignment collision. You peasant, why do you what's your what's your problem? Right. Let's do it the cheaper way. Yeah, collision that. Uh good. Right, now we've given this we've given this maximum, maximum opportunities to something. And uh while we're about it, let's uh Uh no, that's the most hideous thing I've seen in almost a minute. This should be easier. This, that, I, I get a sense that I always make a bit of a meal of these connections. See, because then it wants to go all, all bendy on me, and I, I'm not interested. Oh, look at that. The AI is getting plugged in. They're going, oh, I want I want me some of this. Uh, right, medium street down to the... Uh, yep. Uh, and while we're here... Right, this is the city of the future. That's that's what we're looking at. Now, just so you're clear, I don't think this is going to work. 
right? But the, this, I'm, what I'm doing here is not going, aha, I have this method that will clearly resolve everything, partly because McAllen, McAllister, McCullen, Mc, McLaughlin, McAllen, you had it right the first time, um, is tiny. You know, nobody lives here. It's like three sheep and a, and a dachshund. Um, one building will be removed. Well, it's a tragic loss, but, you know, they'll get over it. Uh, we're going to lay in some internal infrastructure uh, in the hope that uh, that it encourages the, uh, the the local population to to get busy with it. Uh, a little bit of that. This is a curious layout you're going for there, dear boy. Yeah, I know. I'm a curious individual. Uh, let's plug that across there as well. Bring you down. Yeah. Bring this down. There we go. Connectivity, friends, is the uh, is our watchword. Uh, junctions are my co-pilot. Bridges are my homeboy. Um, okay, yeah. All right, good. Now that's that should uh, inject some uh, something into uh, into proceedings. Now we want to we want to set up an internal community kind of a deal, and you know what? Because uh, if I'd have left room for this, that'd be helpful. I need a nice quick way for people getting off off this ridiculously shaped tram terminus depot platforms. Yeah, let's have three of them. Why the hell not? Too much curvature. Um, what if I get rid of that? All right, all I need you to do right now is just be able to to plink down. And then, uh, and then we'll try and figure out a way of getting a road to talk to you. That looks okay. It's a bit of a bit of a stroll to the airport, though. Is there anywhere we can get any closer? Whiz it around here. I mean, over the other side of the road would be ideal. But frankly, this tram station is uh, is almost as big as the town. Yeah, tram fans, brace yourselves. We're uh, we're about to, you know, it's about to be Christmas. Uh, and does that even connect? It does connect. Oh, that would be good. Or it collides, even if it doesn't connect. All right, let's go for there, which I am reluctant to do, but we'll try it. I can always bulldoze it. I've got all the money in the world. Too much curve. It's too much curve. Yeah, there's no snap point there. You can't you can't get those to talk to each other. All right. Well, we'll will we? I mean, you know, they might as well walk from the other side of the flipping county. <sighs> and at this point, the game crashed. Now, normally, what I'd do at this point is I'd roll back and uh, and I'd replace things, and I wouldn't do the original, and I'd edit that out, and uh, and I'd then be talking about. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd be pretending like nothing happened. But since we're in the last episode of the series, what I've decided to do instead is go, the game crashed. Uh, so I'm having to do this bit again. Unfortunately, I went to a, uh, went to a, uh, what do they call it, autosave. That thing that slows us down all the time. Yeah, I decided to make use of it. So, uh, perfect. All right, ah, okay. And given that, we have hindsight on our side, to some extent. Uh, I think what I'm going to do here... Oh, I didn't really need to destroy all of that, but uh, do I care? What I'm going to do is, is with my, my hindsight beneficiary, I'm going to uh, I'm going to try and build with uh, the knowledge of, of troubles ahead in... Uh, oh, that could be interesting. All right. I, it is interesting, so let's do it. About there. All right. And then... Will you play ball? Will you play ball? You will play ball. Splendid. Okay, I, d I decided against the, uh, the the mega super highway this time. We've, we've gone for something just a, just a little bit more feasible. Um, but since when uh, when the game crashed, I was trying to get a, a tram station in. I thought, why don't we get the tram station in first? And then yell at the airport for not complying. Yeah, just a fair warning, people of McAllen. 
Uh, any time you get in the way of any of this building, I will just delete your house. It's That's just happening, okay? So the choice is entirely yours. You know, play ball immediately or get bulldozed. Right, now, what I'd like you to do here... I don't want to. I don't want to give up on the uh, on the gigantic bus depot tram stop, but I will if I if uh, if I can't get it to I can't get it to negotiate, and it's just because it's so flipping big. I oh, see. I thought that would work really well. I thought we could stick it l literally over the top of the the tunnel. We're gonna to have to go for one stage down, I'm afraid, friends. But it's such a it's such a decent idea to have it right over the top of the tunnel. You know, if we if we think about it this in a in a purely aesthetic fashion, that you know, I'd be I'd be remiss not to uh, try and make this work. Up tempo. There we go. Nope, no, 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 no. Uh, brush strength max. Hit it. Oh yeah. Don't worry about the trees. I have a tree gun and I know how to use it. Gentle, gentle sloping rolling hills. It's what we want. And then of course I'm going to place this thing and it, the first thing it's going to do is going to carve a gigantic cleft out of the uh, out of the surrounding area once again. There we go. Yeah. Oh yes. Everybody's happy now. There we are. Right now, let's try and uh, let's, let's have another go at that. Yeah, you see, you're, you're, if I do now, you that's just spinning you around. What I'd like is you, like at that height, but there you are too far away from where I need you to be, which means we're going to have to take a certain amount of certain amount of landscapery. With the with the building of this thing, uh, right now, if I just tweak at tweak at mode for those who will inevitably ask, if you're using N and M to rotate, yeah, and you want to do it on a finer fashion, hold Shift. There we go. To save the comment, if anybody comments that now, you can refer them to this minute of the video, and then scoff. Right. Uh, okay. So we got that in. What do we feel? Yeah, let's go big road. I'm all about the big road today. Do not cut onto that. I don't need. I don't need you to join the bridge. I want you rolling over the top. I mean, the ghostly bridge is making it quite hard to see what's going on. But I assure you, it won't terrain alignment collision once I have uh, plumbed this in better. Well, that's definitely not it. Cease your infernal colliding. Down there. How much do you need? How much do you... Uh, uh, no, see, look. I want you square. There we go. We'll, we'll give you more space, and we'll see how that ends up. Right, that's looking, that's looking quite tasteful. As mentioned, your house is forfeit if you try and get in my way. You're going to have a nightmare getting those to connect, Sunshine. When I say nightmare, what I mean is it's not going to do it. What's your problem over here? That's good. Yeah, take it. Construction's not possible, see? Too much slope, terrain alignment collision. Why not choose your favourite error message? That's the one I'm giving you. Uh, right, let's try it the other way. Let's go like that. Construction's not possible. It's not telling me why it's not possible. I imagine it's too much slope and the terrain alignment is colliding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go on, do it. Do it. What if I change the size of the road? I don't want to change the size of the road, but I will do for the sake of getting this done and moving on to something more interesting. Like, I don't know, anything. Uh, right, okay, so we've got a bit of a bit of connectivity going on here. I, I, I don't really need to destroy, delete that much there, friend. Oh, actually, no, I'm not done. We're not done yet. Hold on. 
Ah, uh, right. Yeah, okay, we will delete that much. And then we'll run an enormous, great super carriageway down here. Or not, as the case may be. <laughs> Make sure McCallan Sidings is connected to the shut up. And that. Yeah, perfect. Ish. This on there. No. There you go. Have that. Give me some uh, electric tram track, please. We're making our, our tram aficionados just thrilled. There we go. It's got a big lump in it. Now, what I need from you, airport, is to connect right there. Okay? Simple task. Ignore the fact there's a flipping farm just there that is going to go, Oh, you can't do anything about that. No, no. Go on. Go on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Well, that's close. I may, I may end up taking this, you know. I may end up allowing people to have a bit of a... Oh, this is... Oh, no, we need to zoom out a little bit. There we go. Now, get this placed quickly. Otherwise, no, you're going to... That's going to give you all kinds of... That big road in the middle is probably going to go. All right? You know, I'm not going to build up your hopes unnecessarily. Right, there you go. That's enormous. Uh, do we think we can connect those two up? Well, not directly, that's faux show. But what we could probably do... <laughs> what we could probably do... You silly optimist. Um, what in no way we are going to be able to do... Yeah. Try again, yeah. All right, all right, let's go again. Get that out of the way. Now, at this stage, I'm not, I don't even think this is, this is gonna, it's just, oh, it is. All right. Well, to be honest, that's mad. Um, but hey, hey, look, we're, we're connected, sort of. Um, okay, right. Now, how do we make any sense of this? Where can we connect without everything going, alarms going off and screaming? Try this. Too much slope, you don't say. Now, obviously, when you're trying to apply a, a road as fat as this one, you are going to be terraforming quite a bit. Yeah. Okay, right. In which case, we are going to have to go along the top, and it's going to have a big kind of lead-in sort of... Deal. Too much slope. Oh, we created slope on there. Oh. It's because I'm trying to do it quickly. If I was trying to do it slowly, the first thing to do would be to bring the level of the ground here up closer to the level of the town um, over the course of many, many happy hours of smoothing. Too much slope. I can't. Even, I can't build any road at all there. So basically, you can get a tram to the tram station from the tram station. I have one last ditch. I oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. All right. Well, that works. And there was a. It was about to. It was about to get bulldozy here. Okay. This is interesting. I still need this to connect to anything at all. Have I even got... No, see, that's just the tram station itself. And I like where the tram station is. Maybe I will, if we do... No help there. I'm not sure what just exploded. Um... But, oh no, do you know what that will be? That will have been uh, Concord's Sonic Boom. I, I, I mean, it's not the most convincing Sonic Boom I've ever come across, but I suspect that's what it was, given that it's faster than the speed of sound. Uh, right, okay, well, let's, let's, try, let's try a different, a different approach here. 
Let's not crash the game again. Are you... You know, you'll comply with a bigger road now. Ah, in that case, we can take that. That's fine. It's almost fine. It's not going to... You know what? Let's do it. It's, it's kind of nuts. No one is ever going to use that. I think they'd think they'd be they they'd have some kind of major personality problems if they decided to get off there. Especially since I'm now considering putting a bus stop here. This is horrible. Okay, uh, we're trying this just as a quick experiment, just to round things off. And I didn't want to spend some time riding on a train today. Maybe this is not the last episode. Maybe there is one more. Yeah, there's one more. And uh, and we'll get to it after a few words from these sponsors. It'll be up tomorrow. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Um, yeah, yeah, fighting with roads is always exciting. But uh, I want to make sure that we, we give, you know, due attention to airports before we round the series out. Uh, so please like, subscribe if you've not done so already. And I will catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.